Hi everyone, welcome to my iClass. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a Luna New Year fan. It's really cute and very nice. It's very good for the Luna New Year project. It's a fan. Kids will love it. Alright? Alright, let's get starting it. Alright. So you can see this is the material we need. Okay, we will need the glue stick, scissors, marker. You know, I use Sharpie. One is thicker one, one is the thinner one. And wood stick and glitter glue. And this one, because I'm running out of glitter glue, so I need the stick to take out some of the glue from the glitter glue. And also, we will need the red paper. All right, let's get starting it. Alright, let me put this one on the side. First, I'm going to have a red paper ready. Alright, we are going to make a fan, alright? And the fan, i making some kind of shape. And this kind of shape, it's from the... The idea is from the gourd. You know, there's a, some kind of vegetable in Chinese. Okay, and that's kind of the shape like that. Gore, but the gore it's actually looking like you know, looking like this way, some, some kind of vegetable. And I thought you know, it would be nice to make the fan out of the shape like that. All right, I'm going to make one more extra line inside along with the edges. So it looks like I have a very nice border. Like that. Okay. And then we are ready to draw trees. Okay. So let's do a tree stick first. Very easy. Don't think too much. Don't think too hard. Okay. Tree stick. And let's make it thicker. Okay, a little bit thicker, double the line, make it thicker, like that. And then we will need the branches, okay? So branches, all you need to do is diagonal line to the left, diagonal line to the right, okay? So here, we are going to do diagonal line to the left, diagonal line to the right, to the left, to the right. Very easy, okay? Because this one is how I teach students, you know, in a very easy way. So they don't feel it's too hard. Okay, that's take out the line, special for the joint part. Okay, special for the joint part. Okay, once you're done, you can start with the three smaller branches okay so for example the, on this one you make a curve out curve out okay and then same thing to here curve out curve out very easy right but every time when you curve out don't start it in the same spot you see i separate a different spot right okay let's try one more time curve out curve out Curve out, curve out. Very simple, right? Okay, try this one. Curve out, curve out, curve out, curve out. Okay, and on the tip, we can make more. Same thing, just keep on going, okay? And then this one, we can curve out, curve out, curve out, curve out, curve out. Okay. okay, keep going right here, curve up, curve out, curve out, curve out, out, curve, curve. And then let's do some more here, curve out, curve out, curve out, curve out. Simple, right? So you have a tree branches and you have a trees. And then if you like to make a little bit right here, to make it a little bit balanced, and that would be nice too. 
Okay, curve out, curve out, curve out. Simple. Okay, so this is the tree, the panel we are going to do. So you are going to make two, okay? You are going to make two. And then after you're done, and then that's cut it up, all right? And I, I did this one before. I already have a print out. So I, I just going, I'm going to just cut it from here, okay? And we need to have a two panel, okay? We need two panels because one is going to be in the front. Let me show it to you. This one going to be in the front one panel and the other one going to be on the back okay so that's why we need two panel and then it's very easy if you you know all you need to do is do one first and the second one you tracing it around so you will get the exactly the same size okay so right now I have this print out I'm going to cut it out and then cut it around Nice and neat. Nice and neat. All right, keep going. Nice and neat. Okay. So you see you got one right and then if you need a second one all you need to do you just put it on the another side of paper and tracing it around and now be off okay so let's cut out the second one okay follow the line goes around goes around this one is a very simple project, but you know, it's going to turn out very nice and beautiful. And then you can use it to after you finish the thing. Okay. All right, let's follow the line. Keep on cutting it. Cut it around. The shape is easy. done two okay so next one let me turn out a little bit okay next one you will need the stick wood stick and then the glue stick okay so I'm going to open it up all right just twist a little bit not too much if too much you are going to have a gooey hand all right okay next one we are going to put some glue on the stick and all you need to do is half, okay? Put half. Let's put some glue. Half will be enough. Okay, put this one over. Stick it on. So all you need, at least half on the paper, okay? So it, this one will have a stronger support, all right? And if you put it too low, no good, no good, all right? Okay, so let's put some more glue around this fan and make sure you do it everywhere, okay? Make sure you do it everywhere. Okay, once you're done, bring this one over the top. And have a perfect match and then glue it on like that. See, nice and beautiful. Okay, next one, I want you to double check if any opening. Like, for example, here, a little bit opening, right? So you will need to put some more glue. Okay, you don't want those areas. Split, 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 right? Okay, double check. I think every, everywhere is good. Yeah, so far so good. Just a little bit more right here. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, next one, we will need to make some cherry blossom. All right, you can see those beautiful cherry blossom. I use tissue paper. I forgot to say in the beginning, we need the tissue paper as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick some uh, light pink 
and dark pink paper this one is dark pink this one is light pink and a little bit purple as well let me get some purple paper okay right here i'm using a recycled paper okay you can see here's some purple paper okay so all you need to do i'm going to show you how to do it all you need to do you are going to rip some of the paper corner and squeeze and that's all that would be all okay so let's take off some of the paper first a lot of paper let's take it prepare a lot okay so you tear off the paper tear off tear off no it's good students are going to have a lot of fun making those flowers okay especially you know sometimes they're not allowed to tear the paper but this time they can do it okay and then i'm going to tear some of the light pink too okay here we go take some light pink off and then I'm going to have a little bit purple okay a little bit purple It'll be really nice to have a nice color combination some purple paper I think we will have enough okay I think we will have enough the first one I'm going to try a little bit light pink first okay squeeze squeeze don't squeeze too much okay just squeeze a little bit about it's fine you know some of the students will keep on squeezing and then make it so tiny and small not necessary okay so just squeeze okay that's it you don't need to squeeze it too tight and too tight will become too small okay squeezing it squeeze it and squeeze okay i have uh, all the light pink ready okay i'm going to plan to glue it on okay so a little bit here glue it on okay a little bit here glue it on you are going to plan where you like to have it all right glue it on a little bit glue it on some right here some over here glue it on and some in the middle glue it on okay uh, okay like this one we can just squeeze a little bit more okay here we go and next one I'm going to try some darker pink okay same thing squeeze squeeze okay I will suggest you squeeze before you glue okay otherwise your glue uh, sometimes you know you have a little glue on your fingers and it's hard to manage the tissue paper okay and squeeze some purple paper some purple paper some more right here a little bit more okay let's put darker pink along with it okay I don't want it to put too much because if I put, put too much then we can see the tree stick okay so just about will be fine okay and then you are going to arrange it any way you like it just decorate just decorate okay and i'm going to have a darker purple right now okay a little bit right here a little bit right there okay glue it on and here glue it on have a lot have a some fun okay i i think this one will be too much Mm, probably not there okay this I think this is good enough 
I don't want it look like a too much, okay? And if your paper are kind of, you know, too big, like this one, you can always squeeze it and push down a little bit more, like that. Push down a little bit more, make it more subtle, okay? Push down a little bit more, make it more subtle. I think this is beautiful already. I don't want to put any more tissue paper, okay? Even though I already tear off a lot. Okay, next one, let's clean up a little bit, a little bit right here, clean up a little bit. All right, and are you have, you can have a, this one glitter ready. This one is glitter glue, and because I'm almost running out, so I'm going to uh, just open it like that. If you are not running out, you know, you have a lot, you can just go ahead and then squeeze some on to the center. Okay, but in my case, sometimes it's hard to squeeze. So I use stick to the bottom, get some glitter on the tip, you can see right here. And then I put glitter all over the top of the flower to make it nice and shine. You can see that beautiful, right? Okay, and then in, and also you don't need to touch the glue so you don't get a gooey hand, right? Okay, take some more. Try to put it on every single one, every single flower. It make it really looks really pretty. Okay? Because it, it brings the attention. It really shines out the flower. And special, you can put it on the center, okay? Center of your flowers. And that will look really, really nice. Okay, here we go. And I think I have uh, two more, uh, three more. And we can be done. Put some more right here. Put some more right here. And put some more right here. Here, make sure every single one you got a little bit clean. Wow, ta da! Look at that. Is that pretty? All right. So that's the project we did it today. Okay. So I'm going to show you the front view. All right. This is the fan. Okay. You can do it. I think this one is just wonderful, beautiful. Okay, and then you can use it. It feels so good too, okay? All right, hope you have fun and make this easy project at home and enjoy it. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.